Hey, my name is Jim McLaren. Today we're going to talk about electric vehicle. Had the privilege to try one out uh, last week, and the pros and cons, and uh, it's just a different feeling when you're driving an electric vehicle. Now, I've been uh, since I retired. I've been doing a lot of dealer trades, and I drove a lot of cars. And this particular trade was my 500th run, and I got to try drive an electric vehicle. It was a Chev make, and I think it was called a Blazer. RS or something and didn't know anything about it So we're told to go down and pick these two electric vehicles up and uh, He said it'll be fully charged You'll be you'll have enough mileage to get back here. You don't have to charge it up. So Went to the dealership and uh, we had a one for two trade. We brought a vehicle to them Roll back two vehicles two electric vehicles so we went in the parking lot to find where these two electric vehicles were and one of them was plugged in and the other one was right beside it but not plugged in and we looked inside and it said 80 percent charged so we're looking at the maps on it tells you how much mileage you'll get at that particular charge and we were we were about 400 kilometers away and it was only good for about 280 kilometers so there's no way we could get home now we talked to the people there about the electric vehicles. The guy that was with me had uh, drove one before he had a, an idea about them. It's my first electric vehicle. So he told us, well, you won't get home, but you'll have to recharge it somewhere along the line. And I said, well, why don't you just charge it here? He says, well, after 80% of the charge, it's a trickle charge because it, uh, it, it the battery gets too hot and it has to be a trickle charge. So we, it's not good charge the vehicle fast it's going to charge it slowly so it's going to take a long time to charge the vehicle up so you guys might as well go might as well go and get to the next charging station and charge up before you get home so that's what we did there's some unique things about these electric vehicles uh, the one thing is uh, when you charge them up if you uh, you have to shut them off to charge them if you have anything going on your radio or the car is on it'll charge but it charges very slowly. So you, you shut it off and charge it. And uh, there's a, you have to have an app to use these charging stations. And uh, when you, inside the car, there's a, when you're charging it, there's a level. And it was set for 80%. Now, it won't charge, if you set it to 80%, it won't charge that to 80%. You have to set the dial to 100% to charge over 80%. So wherever you set it to, that's where it charges to. Now, on the, these particular uh, Chev makes, they had uh, maps on it, and it tells you uh, where all the stations are, the charging stations are, and uh, it tells you your estimated time, with where you put in where your destination is, and it tells you how much power you have, how much kilometers you have left on your charge. It's quite unique. Now, driving one it was very, very unique experience. When you start them, you don't hear them. You don't hear them running. You're wondering, is it, is it running? I don't hear nothing. It's a very weird feeling. Now it's got a pedal and it's got a brake pedal. It's got a normal pedal, just like a gas pedal and a brake pedal. It's got the same thing. I got a few videos of it, uh, but the as far as changing from park to neutral to drive to reverse, yeah, it's a little different. It's on the, on, it's on the steering wheel itself, on the uh, side of the steering wheel. Now, there's a picture of that, and I'll show you later in the video here. So it's a very unique uh, driving experience. And uh, so everything takes power. So if you've got the air conditioner, that takes power. If you've got anything on, it takes power. So it takes power from your, your electric vehicle. I will tell you this, they are fast. They are very, very fast very quick lots of horsepower on these uh, vehicles not sure how much ours had but it's quite a bit of horsepower and they drive really really nice have lots of information your maps are there lots of information very comfortable ride very comfortable ride and it's just very unique to drive one of these electric vehicles i knew nothing about them before i went there and uh, learned a lot that day now, to make this video a little bit shorter, we wouldn't be able to make it home, so we called our boss and said, listen, we got to stop at a Chevy dealer, and we got to charge up our vehicles. We're not going to be able to get home. So that's what they set up. Went to the uh, to a place about maybe 100 kilometers away, 
and they charge the vehicle. Now they can charge it two ways, uh, a, a trickle charge, a slower charge, and they have a fast charge. Fast charge will charge it up fairly quickly, 15, 20 minutes, you'll get enough power to get it home. So that's what we did. We stopped at the, sh the Chev dealer and they were kind enough to let us charge up and go on our way. Uh, they had a small charger that they were hooked up from the inside of the uh, showroom and they had a fast charger that fast charged the, the vehicle. So once my partner was ready to go, then we switched to the fast charger and it, it charged up very, very quick. Now, uh, it's, it tells you how much time you have left before you, how uh, much mileage you have left or much power you have left. So it'll tell you, see, it has a gauge and it says 20-25% uh, and it goes down as you're driving. It showed my estimated time of arrival and it showed me how much power I have after them, 10 or 12 percent. Now I phoned the dealership and I said, we, if I get enough to get home, it's 12 percent. What happens after 12 percent, 10 percent, does it slow down right away? They said, no, you should be able to get home, but if you, if you're, if you take anything off like the, the uh, air conditioner, that will, you know, help take less, uh, electric from the vehicle itself and uh, like I said you don't hear them they're very unique they're very unique uh, when I my partner drove away I could I could hear a, it's like a little humming sound that's what you hear mm, it's a real weird experience would I buy one yes I probably would I changed my mind about electric vehicles they have some very unique features so watch the rest of the video there. I got some uh, how the charge is, the quick charge and slow charge, and some of the information about the vehicle. So watch the rest of the video. Thanks for listening and continue to watch. Something I didn't mention in the, in the first part of the video was that uh, the one of the unique things is that when you press on the pedal to go, when you take your foot off the pedal, it uh, it slows the vehicle down. And uh, it's kind of uh, weird. I thought the brake, I thought the uh, emergency brake was on. I took my foot off the pedal, started slowing it down, and you have a brake pedal. This slows you down enough that see you come to a stop sign or something, it slows you down enough, or a light if it changes, then you just go back and press on the pedal again. So it slows you down. It's kind of a weird feeling to have. And uh, I know my friend was telling me that I use one pedal when I have my electric vehicle. I sell the brake because it actually slows the car down. You take your foot off when you're accelerating. The other thing about it uh, is uh, one of the, the uh, bad things about it is if, if you run out of, out of power, then you can't, you have to get a flatbed tow truck to get you home. You can't uh, generate the wheels on the back, so the tow truck can't pull it because it'll damage the electric, uh, the, the vehicle, the electric part of the vehicle. So yes, I did make it home uh, to the dealership and I had 56K left on the, and about 10, I think 11% left on the charge on the vehicle. You're shifting on the side of the steering wheel. To put it in park, you push the end, the button here to put it in park. To put it in neutral, you just pull it forward to put it in neutral. To put it in drive, you pull it forward and down. And to put it in reverse, you pull it forward and up. Looking inside the vehicle here, you have uh, two pedals. You have uh, the brake pedal. And an accelerator pedal, just like the a normal car here. Instead of the gas pedal and the brake pedal, you have the brake pedal and the accelerator pedal here. That's the inside of the car. We'll take a look at the charger here. This is what they call the slow charger. Or the uh, this charges slowly. I think you charge over slowly overnight here. And it, just different plug uh, arrangements here. This is what they call the uh, they call that the flow. And you need a, an application. You need a car to. Uh, I start the, the flow of the electricity to charge up your car here. And it takes a long time to charge it. You have to set it to whatever charge you want to see, 100%. You have to set it to 100%. You set it to 80%, but it only charge to 80%. This car is particularly only set to 80%. And after 80%, it takes a long time. It's like a trickle charge after 80% because the battery gets too hot. And it's a slowly trickle charge here. This is the outside of the car here, beautiful car here. And just all black and black and red interior here. We drove about 100 kilometers and we stopped at the local shed dealer here. And they were kind enough to uh, fast charge it. This is called the fast charger. 
it's a little bit different to set up here than the, the slow slow charger here and you can see the adapter is a little bit different here you see the uh, you plug it in have to remove that cap there the fast charger has a different style um, connector here and it's fast charging so it'll charge about 15 20 minutes it'll charge up pretty pretty quick here get you on your way there So it's been charging about 24 minutes and it's about 73% charged here. And I want to get it about maybe 80, 85%. I want about 80 kilometers over the destination uh, kilometers to get back home. This is what the fast charger looks like. Special thanks to the local shed dealer that has charged up here and get on in the way. Blue line to the left is how much power you got left. The 100 is actually kilometer how the speed you're going. I showed you 11% left when you arrive on time there. So we have just enough power to get me home. I'm back home to the dealership here. We got about 56k left and 11% charge left on the vehicle. Hope you enjoyed my video on the Chev Blazer EV2 RS electric vehicle. Some very unique uh, features of having a drove in an electric vehicle. So please subscribe my channel and ring that bell to be notified next time I upload a video. This is a cautious thing and it helps grow my channel. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video today. Have a great one, people.